Five decades after Gloria Steinem began raising her voice, rallying women to fight for equal rights, her vision is as urgent as ever. A new play called Gloria, A Life tells the story of one of the most inspiring and remarkable women of our time, while also telling our story as well. It also charts Steinem's activism and brings the audience into the conversation on both gender and power. The all-women cast stars, among others, Academy Award and Emmy Award-winning actress Christine Lottie as Gloria Steinem. Take a quick look. This is Dorothy Pittman Hughes. <laughs> She's way, way ahead of her time because she invented one of the first non-sexist multiracial child care centers. We focus on going mainly to the South. Because we see there are feminist speakers going out in other parts of the country. Less likely in the South, and less likely the, the two, two of, of us together, together in the South. When the truth is found. And we're delighted to welcome Christine Lottie here to Metro Focus. So nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to be here. I'm going to start off by telling you that my wife and I saw the show. Yes. And I, I would say that it, it was this marvelous combination of, of strength and of humor and of pathos mm -hmm. that is, is what theater should be all about and did what theater should do, which is make you think. Right, and make you feel. And make you feel. Right. It's, it's very different, it's staged differently. Yep. The content is it, perhaps not what you think. It's not a straight bio play. No, no. So what was it then about this whole scenario that drew you to it? Well, first of all, Gloria is a friend, right. has been a friend for many, many, many years. And we are kindred spirits on a lot of levels. My whole intent coming on to this project was to portray the human being underneath the icon. There were a lot of things in, that took place there where I said, I didn't know that. Yeah, that was our objective, to find those, those nuggets of you know, more vulnerable, maybe more painful truths. Because the objective of the whole play, as Gloria will say, is to tell her true story, to inspire others to tell theirs. And if we're telling the truth about a complex human being who was not woke, was not a born feminist, was not a born activist, was actually unwoke until she was 35. Then we, and she struggled with a lot of things growing up with a difficult relationship with her mother, et cetera. Then if we don't tell that, if we tell a true vulnerable story about a complex human beings, and again, it'll inspire others hopefully to tell their own stories. You, you make the audience feel like we're part of the conversation. Yes. We're, we're, we're sharing this, yes. we're living this. And you then, in the, the second part of this, literally bring the audience into a conversation, a talking circle. Yes. And there's meaning to that, that yes. people hear when they see this. Yes. What was the, what's the idea behind that? And was that, a, was that at all daunting? That was, the talking circle was Gloria's idea. And she didn't want to do the play unless there was a talking circle. Gloria is the least narcissistic yeah. person on earth. And in order to do a, a story about her life, she said, then I need to have a story, stories about others' lives be, be part of the conversation. When you look at the, the essentially the title of the play, mm -hmm. it talks about Gloria Life, and then it says history, mm -hmm. her story, yes. our story. Yes. How does it become our story, do you think? I think for Gloria, and actually for me too as a feminist, that it's the, it's the shared power that we as human beings, and that's the real power and not looking up that's losing your power. So she talks about how we are linked and not ranked, that the hierarchy of patriarchy is what is so destructive to both men and women. It is so limiting, the roles, the gender roles that are made up, what's masculine, what's feminine, it's all made up and very, very dehumanizing and limiting. So you get rid of the hierarchy, which is patriarchy, and you get linked, shared power, right? So that's what, it's our story. Have you been surprised at all at, at some of the reactions of people, people who have come to see this and, yeah. and then weighed in afterwards? Yes. In what way? A 90, it looked like a 90-year-old, 80-year-old man was weeping the other night. And he was saying how he felt so confined by the rigid role, the mass definition of masculinity. And he was weeping, saying, I know I'm not supposed to cry. I called myself a feminist 40 years ago, and I knew I wasn't supposed to. But I've struggled with this gender role my whole life, and I... I, and he was so moved by the play. From the beginning, he was just weeping the entire time. That surprised me. And, and then there's been, oh, when we had an a, a, a audience that was about 50% high school, public high school. I was going to ask you about that, about younger people. Oh, that was amazing. Diverse, 
lots of young women of color, and they were so inspired by this play because this play does talk about how Gloria learned feminism from black women, and it's not part of our history, right? They're, they're, they're names that people will not recognize. That's right. But afterwards, they'll walk away saying, how did I not know that? Exactly. I didn't know about these women. And I consider myself a, a pretty, you know, informed feminist. I didn't know. And Gloria has always been about intersectionality and had learned feminism from black women. So these young black women um, from high school who never felt part of the feminist movement for whatever reason, maybe because it's been portrayed so in such a limited way. And they were saying, I didn't know about these black feminists. I feel so inspired. I feel like I have a voice and that I can use it now. And that's the... That's everything. That's why I did this play. Well, you should be very pleased with it, and we're delighted to have you here. Thank Christine, you thank so you much. so much for joining us. Enjoyed thank you. it. And a reminder for you, Gloria Life now playing at the Daryl Roth Theater until March 31st, 2019. Please visit metrofocus.org for more information.